Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're fitting this tiny tilt rotator to this cat mini digger. Roll the intro, let's go. This is a brand new Caterpillar 302.7 It is a cat, what's called the next gen machines It's fully loaded with spec, I'll show you around it all once we get everything fitted but it's a very, very nice machine and a pleasure to have it in here ready to put a tilt rotator on The tilt rotator in question is this a Kinshofer PR025 the smallest in the range of Kinshofer tilt rotators This will be the first one we fitted and as far as I'm aware definitely the first one in Scotland, potentially the first in the UK So let's crack on, we'll get the old hitch off the cat we'll get the tilt rotator mounted we'll get it all plumbed up and then hopefully we'll show you it working and whatever else happens throughout the week we'll fill you in First things first, before we install the new tilt rotator we need to remove the standard quick hitch we start by taking off the hydraulic hoses, blanking off the ports before removing the main pins and removing the quick hitch. Once the pins are out, we can lift the dipper out of the hitch and start installing the new tilt rotator. The process for installing the new tilt rotator is the reverse of what we've just done. You'll see us here about to put the dipper pin in and then followed up by the rear pin. When doing this, we ensure to shim the unit tight to reduce any play from side to side movement. These first steps are the same with the install of any tilt rotator. It involves removing the standard quick coupler and pinning the tilt rotator onto the excavator. Once it's pinned on, we can start plumbing and wiring.
Once the tilt rotator is pinned on to the machine, we can start doing the hydraulics. On this setup, there is a hydraulic circuit for the tilt and a hydraulic circuit for the rotate. This involves making two pairs of hoses, one pair for each auxiliary circuit that is on the machine. We make these bespoke to suit each install in order to keep the complete package as neat and tidy as possible. This reduces the risk of snagging a hose and out at work and ultimately damaging anything and causing any unwanted downtime. As we fit each hydraulic hose and complete each circuit, we test the functions to ensure we have a working tilt rotator and we have no issues around the hydraulic plumbing. Once the hydraulics are completed, we start running the electrics. As you can see here, Stuart has done a very nice job of guarding all the hydraulic hoses tying everything up so it's nice and neat and as tidy as possible. The same care is also taken while installing the components inside the cab and back at the excavator to ensure everything is neat and tidy and ultimately as reliable as possible. This setup, as I will detail later on in the video, has a boom cable that runs back to the cab and that allows switching between the tilt function and the extra auxiliaries. Right, quick update. We're on, tilting and rotating. Closes are in. Just got the cable and the wire to run. Control box, control panel to mount somewhere in here. And then we'll have a hitch working. And we'll show you around. Alright, we're probably 80% of the way through when it's done. Let me quickly give you the update. The Stuart and I got it mounted yesterday. Stuart's done all the hydraulics. The boom cable is there. We've got it run up and it's sitting up here at the moment. The same run, the second half of it is run down into the cab. That then comes round and out here. This is my job first thing this morning is get this wired up. I'll show you that when I'm done. And then the control box for this setup is in there. So nearly there, we've got it tilting, we've got it rotating. We just have to hook up the control now to work the lower hitch and to work the switch over between the tilt and the extra function. So I'll crack on with that and then I will show you around when it's done. Along with this setup, the customer is also taking delivery of one of our Kanjini TC1 hydraulic flails. So in order to make the hoses for that, we couple it up to the tilt rotator and make the hoses bespoke to suit.
all in all, this makes for a very, very nice package. Enough watching us install it. Let me show you around it. Done and ready for collection. Let me give you the full tech spec and the full walk around. Put the flail on it here just to show you. But the main part of it, the Kinshofer TR025 tilt rotator. 30 degree tilt side to side. Endless 360 rotation. Worm drive rotator, exact same as, as it is on the big units. And the only difference being here is a little unit works with two hydraulic cylinders for the tilt. S30 lower coupler on the DF4 setup, so it uses the two proportional auxiliary circuits on the machine. Your big lines and your hammer circuit works the tilt and the extra function and the lower quick hitch. The second auxiliary or the rotation lines works the rotation. There's then a boom cable, boom cable goes up and over through the king post, down and under, and into the cab runs a little control box which means only difference in here or only addition in here is the DF4 control box that's what works the more quick hitch and lets you cycle through the extra functions the extra function being in this case the Kangini flail but it could be a grab could be a compactor plate if I grab to go on this we'll show you in a bit if the bracket turns up in time but click the button that lets you change from tilt to extra function. The only downside of the DF system is you can't tilt and work an extra function at the same time. Otherwise, you can do everything with the standard joysticks. One side does tilt, one side does rotate, and it lets you keep all the fancy cat things you get in the next gen cat. The joystick steer, the cruise control, all the fancy stuff you get to keep with your standard joysticks. The question when we've got it here that everybody asks is can you track and flail with a flail on? With some footage we'll cut in here, we'll show you. You can track, rotate and flail with the cat at the same time with the tilt rotator. Um, and the nice thing, you put it in joystick steering, you can do all of that without needing to use your feet, you can do it all off the joystick. So really, really tidy setup. Thank you very much to Stephen from MEC Utilities for putting his trust in us to deliver and install it. It's the first, as I said, it's definitely the first one in Scotland. It's potentially the first one in the UK, and it's definitely the first one in Scotland on a Cat 302.7. So, really nice machine, really capable, really nice setup. We've got some attach watch buckets to go with it, we'll show you around them in a second, and a little Intermare cattle grab. If the bracket turns up, we'll get it on tonight, we'll show you that as well, but real nice package. Really cool to see it on fitted. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks we'll get out to site see it working. But, uh, but yeah, for the meantime, here's some more fancy B-roll. Enjoy. Any questions on the tilt rotator, the flail, whatever you've seen in the video, the digger, leave them in the comments. Let us know. If you enjoyed this type of video, give us a shout. When you're down there, hit like, hit subscribe. You'll be doing us a massive favour. We'll see you in the next one.
a little bit of bonus footage for you here at the end. This is young six-year-old Charlie getting his first shot of his new Cat 302.7 with the tilt rotator and you can see picking it up very, very quickly indeed. And that's one happy young man with his early Christmas present. Thanks again Stephen and the boys. Thoroughly appreciate your business and wish you the best of luck with the machine and the tilt rotator. Thanks again for watching folks. Catch you in the next video.